Today we're playing Modern Oopsol Spells, and uh, this is a deck that uh, tries to combo. It's in fact a combo deck. You can win as early as turn 3, thanks to the cards Below Street Spy and Undersheet Informer. Uh, in Gate Crash, they started this mechanic, which was mill until you find a land, which uh, was uh, pretty um, pretty good, together with uh, the uh, Zendikar spell lands, because what they are is these are um, our spells on the front side, so they don't get checked by Undersea Informer and Balustrade Spy. But there are lands on the back side, so you can play them as lands as well as you can cast these things and mill your whole deck. So what happens after you mill the whole deck? So let's get through it. First thing you do after you mill your whole deck is that uh, you get Crippin' Jill. And uh, so you drain your opponent for three. Then you get a couple of Narc Amoeba, just two. This format Dread Return is not legal, so you can't just take the easy route of Dread Returning your, Nar your Tassus Oracle like you would in Legacy. In fact, you have to get around that a little bit. You have to, you, so you mill two Narc Amoebas, which will trigger the Sword of the Meek coming into play. And Sword of the Meek says whenever a 1-1 creature comes into play, you can return the sword from the graveyard. Remember, your graveyard is in the, your deck is in the graveyard, so you mill the sword of the meek, which uh, will get equipped by the Narcomibus. Then what you do um, is uh, um, exiling three artifacts from your graveyard to return the salvage title in your hand. And you have plenty of artifacts in your graveyard. You have Pentad Prison, Sphere of the Suns, Talisman, Goblin Charbeltra. So you get the salvage title in your grave in your hand, and then you sacrifice three artifacts to put this into play, and you sacrifice the sword of the meek. So you'll have the salvage titan coming to play, and the salvage titan coming into play together with a balustrade spy or an Endosidian former will trigger the four Benjamin to come into play, and then you just attack your opponent down with four Benjamin and four creeping chill to zero. Alternatively, if this route it doesn't go well, you can mill your whole deck. And then Memory's Journey on top of the deck, uh, Tasa's Oracle, and just win the game with that. So uh, this is how you can do that, uh, together with Jack O' Lantern, so that even if you don't have uh, blue mana to play Tasa's Oracle, you'll be able to pay one mana, exile Jack O' Lantern from your graveyard, add one mana of any color. So we are talking about a very, very unfair deck that, you know, every, it, many things can go wrong when playing this deck, like, oh, and I haven't, I haven't mentioned that the, uh, the Phantasmagorian, which uh, is sole role is that in case you have some key pieces in your hand, um, for example, if you have, I don't know, a Sword of the Meek in your hand and you don't have any artifacts in play, uh, you can uh, discard three cards to return a Phantasmagorian from your graveyard to your hand so that you have all the pieces you need. Um, yeah, there's also four goblin, three Goblin Chair Belcher plus one in the side. This is the B plan in case something goes wrong with Graveyard A2. Thank you, Matej Cecolo, my moderator for six months of sub. Thank you so much very much appreciated okay so yeah and you have also sphere of the suns and pentad prism to ramp up you so that you can go off on turn three or i mean turn four since you play 21 lands these lands are expensive in the sense that they cost three life each a miracle secret restoration tarn timber symbiosis shadows cosmashing and awakening agadim so you also have palaka predation and agro modeling since this deck is mostly black especially with the toxins in the side um, the sideboard is uh, pretty primordial. You have Voids in the air to do with like a Leyland of the Void or a Rest in Peace. You have Leyland of Sanctity to do with this curse spell from like Rex's Shadow. You have Totsies to do with Endurance. Leyland also deals with Endurance. And then you have Pact of Negation. But yeah, it's very much like a jam deck. And uh, it's cool, at least in paper. We'll see how it'll do in the in the league. That's, let's see. Let's see how it does in paper. In the league, I mean. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
What is paper? Well, paper, and um, usually you play this game in paper. This weekend I attended my local game store, played uh, some pauper and some modder. All right, join the match. Let's go. Oh, the money tutors. Let's see. They have lures. Uh, well, this is a very good end. This end can go off as early as turn three, and I have a double below spirit spy. Let's see if I'm playing against the Grixis Death Shadow. Looks like it. We're going through Chandler. Let's go. I'll play my lands. Are they bolting me? Mm hmm. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. They mill the channeler. Let's see if they get delirium with a sorcery or a Mishra's bubble. They go land Thoughtseize, they get delirium, and they discard. Uh, Honestly, my hand is pretty okay. So Inquisition doesn't even discard only, only, only these two. Funnily enough, so they're probably gonna discard one of these. I'm gonna play the other, and then uh, yeah, this Inquisition here doesn't really disrupt me at all. Okay, I'll go Miria called. Play, yes, and I'll play the talisman. The next turn, I will cast the Baloo Spirit Spy. Drowning the lock doesn't work, so maybe we'll get the, the, the win this time. <laughs> no, that's good, but you can. Okay, they make me discard a card. Follow this card, Memory's Journey. Thought season, that's fine. Thankfully, I have double pair. So they can discard anything, and I will uh, go for lethal next turn. I know, right? That's a that's a good clean uh, turn turn three kill on my side through thoughts is in Inquisition. Of course, I had to get very lucky. They they decided to shortcut and concede, but I was going to play a fourth land, a Balustra spy, and explained in the deck tech how the deck work. And if you skipped the deck tech part, you really don't want to do that for this deck because it's pretty complex, and you should definitely <laughs> do the deck tech, follow the deck tech if you don't know this deck prior. All right, I'm gonna get Leyline in this in the in the in the sideboard. Leyline also protects you from Nihil Spellbomb, which is their way, um, which is their way to interact with your graveyard. They don't have Surgical Extraction. Uh, I might also take out Charbelcher. I'm not sure. <laughs> of course, sideboarding with this deck is a mess. We can take out some uh, some combo piece and hope to draw and hope to not get not get break by it, especially since the Crip and Chill are often enough in this matchup. I don't need a, a four Benjamin in this matchup. Because the Crip and Chill they deal twelve. Your opponent's usually around that, so maybe just a couple of Benjivine will be enough. And again, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with post sideboard. They most likely have Solga Lantern. You think so? Well, if they have Solga Lantern, uh, if they cast Solga Lantern, I only have Golden Charbelcher to interact with it.
Esperanimator at the F enamel wasn't good. I lost almost all my matches. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, well, I'm keeping this hand. We have uh, two lands, two a rump spell, and two combo kill. Ooh, right on. Oh no, why did I sideboard out Phantasmagorian? <laughs> I didn't like the deck. I mean, I play against the Grace's Shadow and he's a Merc Tide, which didn't, didn't look good matching. Okay, when other City Former is down, wow, if they cast it, I lose. I lost turn two, chat. I lost turn two. No, actually, no, 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 I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Because I can go uh, Memory's Journey. Let's see, because that could cast doesn't move my deck. Oh wow, they cast it. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, they didn't mean anything. Never mind. Thank you, Jeffrey. Appreciate the sub. 19 months. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you, too. All right. So they decided not to. Oh, wait, wait. Never mind. This is the one mono. The one that sacrifices itself. Okay, then. It's fine. I thought it was the other one. All right. All right. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Goblin Charbelcher number two. Okay. Play Sphere of the Suns. We pass the turn. <laughs> if I get prepared against... Uh, Stony Silence, this deck can't cast a card. <laughs> no, 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 this is, uh, you have to pay one. All right, Creeping Chill, okay. <laughs> it's good that uh, Drowning the Lock doesn't do anything against this deck because we don't play any fetches or basically just, we don't put cards in your graveyard, so. All right, they said, I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, let's have some fun. And they actually, ah, the fact that they milled uh, the Creeping Chill is awkward. All right, so I have now. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work, but let's have some fun. So my opponent decided to mill my deck. All right, let's see how it goes now. Well, um, so I have three Creeping Chill triggers. So one, two, three, and Teen Archimedes. Yes. Only one sword of the meek, unfortunately. Because <laughs> two are in end. And I discarded the Phantasmagorian. I sideboarded out the Phantasmagorian. Okay. Now, I'll uh, untap. Uh, attempt to cast the Memory's Journey, targeting myself. And I'll shuffle two cards in my deck now. They probably have a drawn in the lock, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go, let's put Shuffle back, Thassa's Oracle, and uh, what else do I want to shuffle back? Anything else? If they have Lightning Bolt, I still win. So I just put back Tassa's Oracle only. Is there a way where my opponent doesn't counter this and still I lose? Mm, is there a card? Does my grandma for Nakumi Bantar? I don't know if Fantasma Gorin, I said board it out. Uh, so that's fine. Let's only shuffle back Thassa's Oracle with Memory's Journey. Right? Again, let me think about if there's a way that I draw Thassa's Oracle, I cast this, it resolves, and I'll lose. I don't think so. Yeah. No, I'm only, I'm only targeting that. Yeah, I only choose one card. 
Yeah. I'd say if they go with run in the lock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, easy. All right, and I'll lose for decking. Dress down, uh, that's a good one. Just a voice, dude. Yep, I would have lost to dress down this way. I should have put, I mean, I died no matter what, of course, but I uh, should have put an additional card to play around dress down. You're right. I need a second blue. <laughs> well, see, there's a technology in this deck which is called the Jack O' Lantern, which filter your color. <laughs> but you know, again, it didn't matter. This is definitely a good, a good ending. No, it's fine. It's not uh, common. All right, so I decided that I don't have a Phantasmagorian in my deck, which might be a mistake in, in, in hindsight, so I should probably have it. Uh, what do I cut? I think I cut another land. Uh, maybe not. Our land's good. Maybe I cut... What do I cut? Maybe I cut a Sword of the Meek. Nah. Oh, it's so hard. Maybe I cut Jekyll Lantern. I think one is enough. <laughs> Thank you, Narcon. Appreciate the Prime Sub. Welcome. You want me to cut Charbelcher? Yeah, it might be. Although, like, my opponent has this curse spell, so maybe I want to have more threats. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm on the play. Okay. Keep. And now my hand can't be touched. Don't touch my hand, opponent. Sphere of the Suns, which hopefully is not gonna get uh, Cold Against Commanded. And also, Char Belcher, which hopefully is not gonna get Cold Against Commanded. Doesn't matter if I put an additional Ley Line. Should I put two? Probably, yeah, I should probably put two. I don't think my opponent can deal with them, but might as well put two. Would you open my one, two, and now opponent no touchy. No touchy, please. Where are my lands? F2, island, and plains. And they're mythic rare. And forest as well now. <laughs> so let's play this. Yes. Let's play the sphere. Please no spell peers. How was the concert yesterday? It was, uh, it was very good. It was very good. Although there was a lot of snow. So it was pretty scary to get there. Opponent. No touchy. All right, draw. Jack-o'-lantern, look at that. We only have one of Because I found five, 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 six, I love the draw. Drop a card from my graveyard, draw a card. Well, I'll do that. Or do I want to do it later? I'll probably do it later, because I have to pay one, right? All right, so might as well do it later. I'll play this for now. No, actually, I'll do it now, because I have a... Oh, actually, I have a card from my graveyard. Yeah, it makes, makes more sense. From target card from our graveyard. Yeah, exact card from my graveyard. To play around, uh, drawing the lock later. Um, I might draw the, the black land that comes to play tapped. It's a pretty terrible draw. But that's okay, this deck has plenty of terrible draws. And now, thanks to Jack O'Lantern, I can filter my mana if I draw a black uh, combo card.
Okay. Wow, they got two watery graves. That's strange. Oh, I guess that's their land here. Okay, drop. That's his oracle. That's not good. Uh, let me go. Uh, Sword of the Meek. Take that opponent. I'll play a Sword of the Meek. <laughs> and now what? And now what? No touchy. <laughs> no touchy. Mm hmm. So, what does this do again? Exile from your graveyard at a amount of any color. Okay. Yeah, we're doing powerful magic gathering action. Playing an equipment with no creatures in play. Or, sorry, in the deck. Maybe I can keep a Thassa's Oracle next turn. Should I cast Thassa's Oracle last turn? I maybe should have. There it is. Ari, play, yes, all right, please opponente, no spell pierce number two, no, come on, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, uh, if only I had the, the combo instead of the, 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 the self mill card, because <sighs> that's a creature. I drew the non-creature for the spell peers, the second. Okay, it's fine now. I still have eight good draws. <sighs> Copium is fine. Yeah, I still have eight good draws. It's funny that my hand was no touchy, but I had like nothing to like you could rate all uh Oh no. I'll discard this so that if they go drain in the lock, if I draw the three mana thing, actually, it doesn't matter. If I draw the three mana thing and they drain in the lock, I'll cry. Because I can't do anything. I guess I can. Oh, no, no. I was going to check a lantern. So they can draw in the lock, the Undersea Informer. <sighs> Just get. It's not that I separated out anything, though, for these. I uh, separated out Benji Vines, which are terrible draws. I guess I could cast Benjamin. <laughs> like I could cast Benjamin. If I draw it to block the shadow. Or maybe opponent just goes to four. Oh, we go to four. And we attack. Also have Creeping Chill. They thought this themselves. They have drawn in the lock and called his command. Wow, they're cool against the man. This other chair voucher wasn't even good. All right, I'm at seven life. Draw. I'm the same informer. Yes! 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 Jack o' Lantern? Exile. Jack o' Lantern from McGregor. I'm black. I'm the same informer. Great win. Great win. Very skilled. Thank you very much. No touchy and combo turn four or turn five or turn six. I don't remember. We died in game two by Undersea Informer. We won in game three by Undersea Informer. Old skill, no luck. That's the name of this deck. If you want to rebrand the deck after Old Soul Spells, which is, by the way, a pretty good name, you should rebrand it like that. How does that win? All right, I explained it in the deck tech. It's very convoluted. Uh, if... If, if, if eventually it'll show it you can stick around and I hope I'll get to show it
you can get flooded. Well, you actually play 21 lands, so you can definitely get flooded. All right, my opponent has the Wellspring. How many lands I have? Two? Wow, this one's good. Keep. Keep, 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 keep. Wow, if you draw two Narc Amoebas, you just break forever. Is that true? <laughs> I hope I don't draw Narc Amoeba, because if I do, I lose. How did you die? They milled me. They decked me. They played Informer, and then they countered my memory's journey, and I died. My opponent is modeling into four cards. <laughs> Alright, four cards, 56 in the deck. This would be a good strategy against my elbow. Hello. Can you cast them? The Mark Amoebas? Yeah, I mean, if if you draw to you, I think you have to cast Mark Amoebas. I don't even know at that point, actually. You need to go off for like eight, six months, I think. Thank you to FK486. Thank you, thank you. With Prime Sub. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome, everybody, to Monday Modern. And uh, we're also going to be playing. Uh, Actually, I don't know what I'll be playing, but yesterday we played the Arena Cube, which is was a lot of fun. There it is. I was looking for a third land, and I found it. Sphere of the Suns. Year. Sorry, Chromatic Star. Alright, chat. I'll show you how this deck wins, hopefully. You play the Balustrade Spy or the Undercity Informer, they're the same. Yeah, this is the second turn three win. Also, in the previous game, we won on turn three. You mill yourself. And you mill your whole deck. Now, you have four Creeping Chills and one Narcomiba. The Narcomiba comes in, and together with her, you have three Swords of the Meek, which will all be attached to the Narcomiba. And then you also have four Creeping Chills which will lock, knock your opponent down to 8. Now, you uh, return to hand the Salvage Titan, exiling 3 artifacts. And you cast the Salvage Titan by sacrificing 3 artifacts, which are the 3 Sword of the Mick that you just uh, reanimated. And this is the second creature, so it will trigger your 4 Vengevines because you played your first creature in Balustrade Spy, and then you attack, and then boom, boom, you win the game. Just like that, on turn three. This deck used to be very, very powerful when Simeon Spirit Guide was around. Then they banned Simeon Spirit Guide, but you can still like, go turn two stone, turn three thing, you're dead. So, that's a combo. Combo. Okay, so I'm playing against Tron. Mm. They probably have um, a relic of progenitus all of the board is near. You have Phantasmagorian in order to fix your graveyard if it's something is in your hand. If you draw two Meba, I think you break. I lose to spot removal. No, 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 no! You don't lose the spot removal. This thing, re this thing, uh, return. Where are they? This thing's return regardless, I think, or maybe not. Curie, what happens? Uh, what happens uh, if you only have one Miba and they kill the Miba? Do they sort of make return? I lose to Plague Engineer. 
I lose the plug engineer. That's a good point. They do return. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned they do return. Reanimate task is Oracle. No, the dread return is banned. In Legacy, you, you go dread return. In Modern, you can't go dread return. All right, so I left Boyd's near, and now the best part is when you sideboard, because actually, like, you don't know what to do, and it just click things. All right, um, four Vengevines should be... So I only need to deal 20 damage with this deck. I have four Vengevines and four Gripping Chill, and that's deal... What? That's, like, a lot of damage, so I think I'm, 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 I'm clicking... I am cutting a little bit of these. I'm cutting, like, like, like two Vengevines. Because that's eight. That's that's maybe two Benjamin is too many. Let's go one Benjamin. Let's also take out some other cards. <laughs> like what though? <laughs> I don't know. Sideboarding with this deck is so tricky. Uh This maybe Char Belcher is good enough. Maybe I'm taking out these. Yeah. So this is weak to like pissing needle, I don't know. Belcher feels too slow. Yeah, maybe Belcher. Because it's also bad against Karn. Yeah, maybe I should have taken out Belcher. <laughs> okay, and this is very good. We even have cyber cards. Wow, opponent gets seven. Measure's good against Karn. It's it's not. It's not. Is that a relic? Of course, if they got relic, we have to go avoid snare. But the thing is that they their main hate piece, I think it's relic. So that's why I wanted the the the, the golden char belcher. Don't I need the Thoughtseize? I, I don't think I need Thoughtseize, no. Belcher, Belcher wins. You know, you know Belcher? What does it do? It just deals damage until you find a, a land. Let's see if they go car and blow up a land, it'll take a while for me to go back. I mean, if they go car and add mana. Okay. The, the, the four mana car and also shuts off the deck. Yeah, the Belcher finds it deals damage if you don't find any land exactly so it deals uh, one damage on uh, for each card you have in the deck oh they got a blade in stone okay that's another way to deal with belcher i guess now in order to go off i need five mana and i don't have them like i don't i don't look good in this game this game i'm not gonna win but it's fine They passed, okay. Do they also have Warping Well in the deck? Maybe. I'll play <laughs> Sword of the Meek. <laughs> we have uh, literally four blank five blanks. <laughs> what a bad deck, that's funny. Karn. Karn liberated has entered the battlefield. Whoa, it hangs out the sword of the meek. What? Why? They're 
afraid of Topter Foundry. All right, I'll, I'll give up. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We play best of three. It's okay. I'll take out all the vouchers on the play. Bring in these. Yeah, all vouchers are in. We only have void sneer to deal with uh, the relic if they play it. But I don't think Belcher ever wins. Like they have Oblivion Stone, Karn, Karn to deal with it. So they want Thoughtseize. The thing is that they just go, maybe they don't go turn one relic. But I don't, I don't want to miss a land drop. No, I don't want to miss a land drop. Let's go. Okay, this end is good. I miss, uh, I only have two lands. But I have the Bowser Spike and Void's Nerd. Then I stops Relic. No. The line stops and he heals Spellbomb. It doesn't stop Relic or Solga Lantern. Point them out against the five. Let's see if they go to four. They go to five. Okay. Power plant. Star. Jack O Lantern. Sphere of the Suns. Please, no relic. All right. All right. Let's focus now on top lane for Mangu, please. I want to draw that Shadow School Smash that I brought in from the sideboard now. Come on, Shadow School Smashing. Arrgh. Katsu, 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 Katsu. I'm gonna go Thassa's Oracle and Scry. Mm. I don't want any of these. I have to hope they don't go Karn. Either of them. Either Karns. Either Karns kill me now. Because the, the four mana one shuts off the sphere and it can't go off. And then they'll play the, the, the Kumara coding and also they can get Tormund's Great probably. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either Karn wins the game on the spot. What else wins the game on the spot? Uh, mm -mm, well, Trinity Sphere does nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm basically dead to anything. Okay, they have Tron, which is fair. I mean, I would have won if I had top land, so it's fine. We play 21 lands and. That's the liberated one, okay. Train Sphere? No, I don't, I don't think it slows it down, no. Alright. Arc Amoeba. Bug Map. Alright, Jack, Jack. Time to. Time to draw land, Jack. Jack, draw land. Jack, draw land. Okay, uh, do I play an Arc Amoeba? Doesn't matter. Oh, but, uh, by the way, let's attack hard so that I can't exile another land of mine. And then I'm wondering. 
<clears throat> Should I play Narcomoeba or not? Does it change? I don't think it changes. I think I'll play it. And now I hope that I have to hope that they don't um, blow up another land. Exile. Okay. No, never Kikoshi. I mean, maybe back in the days, but not now. Now I'm a content creator full time, so if I ever build a deck, I want to share it. But building decks, not easy. Dead to Stiff Breeze. That's exactly what we're dead to. Well, Ugin doesn't kill me, for starters. I mean, obviously, if they don't kill me, I also have to top deck the the, the land. Oh, the other Karn. All right, now I think we're officially dead. Stubbing it. That's okay. Stiff breeze has arrived. <laughs> That's fine. This is a carnage. Yeah, we're dead to either card and they ended up having both. But it's fine, it's Mulligan 2 5. They just. We were supposed to win on turn 3. If we didn't, we didn't function properly. Like. But this is a. This is a. All in deck. If you. If you don't win on turn 3, you, you probably lose. Yeah, I'm singing I'm singing this song at the moment. The song here. Which is actually a card that I have in paper. It's from the legends. All right, no one, no one wants to play against me. All right, all right, find the opponent. Let's go. Two, two, two. Okay, let's go. Rules of the dream. Then, how many lands I have? Two. I don't have the combo though. I don't have the combo. I shouldn't mulligan if I don't have the combo. How does, how does this work? I mean, I guess. Nah, it's fine. I'm gonna keep this time around. I don't want Mulligan to five. I mean, his deck is too top deck anyway. So. Like either you top deck once of the turn or, or or five at the same time. I'm gonna go Panther Prison, doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna do a sphere. It's just tapped. Bold me. Wow, that's scary. Mm-hmm. Okay, can I draw the thing? The thing? Oh wow, so close. 
Actually, it's not close at all. Why did why did they say so close? All right, I'll uh, play the Penta Prison. Do I want to play uh, Thassa's Oracle? I think so, yeah. I'm going to go green. Yeah. Done. And then I'm going to go blue. Blue. Thassa's Oracle. Take that, Channeler. Block this. All right. I don't want any of these. But thank you, though. I appreciate it. Oh, well, Scallion. <laughs> Thoughtsies. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you, I have nothing. Jokes on you, the card you have to discard is in the top of the deck. Hopefully you don't get Delirium. Oh no, they did. <laughs> okay. On the C team fourth mer. On the C team fourth mer. Now! Ooh. I'll play it. Ten ten. <laughs> oh, point was pretty scared over right there. They were pretty scared, let me tell you. They were very, very scared. I go to four. Maybe I was supposed to play Sphere so that it could set up to a top deck. Oh no, I couldn't cast uh, a Char Belcher anyway. Alright, on their C Team Former now. Vangevine! Alright, I'll lose. Papangu loses. Team Game Warning wins. <laughs> okay, I'll bring in the Ley Lines. And I'm taking out random cards. Okay, let's take a random card. I'll take out Vengevine, Vengevine. Jack. I'll take out Jack. And I'll take out Land. Land. Vengevine is really bad. I don't think I need Vengevines. Why do I have Venge why do I have four Vengevines in this deck? What's the Phantasmagorian for? Because if you draw like many pieces of the combo, like many Vengevines and many Swords of the Meek, you can still win. You really hope not to draw the Phantasmagorian, but I think it's necessary. I think it's necessary. I guess with two Vengevine only, yeah, all right. I'll take a Phantasmagorian. Whatever, we gotta get lucky anyways. I might as well just throw him even more bricks from the deck. All right, yes, on the play. Okay, we have Ley Line, so no Tachi Tachi. But man, this end, this end is awful. <laughs> All right, I'm all good. No Tachi Tachi? No! We have. Wait, wait, wait. Makishima the merda! All right, let's go to five. It's fine. Five. Come on, good end. All right, two lands, three lands, four lands, five lands, six lands? What? No! Pepangu! How do these people win with this deck? All right, let's go to four. Attenzione, we have Leila. Nah, 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 this this must be a keep. Yeah, all right, keep. So four cards I have to select. I have to put three on the bottom. Una. What else? Due. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Leila. Okay. Let's go. Play. No. Go. Can combo turn. I know, but you don't need four. Especially against. I mean, inside with it out, it's fine. All right, so no where I go. I mean, it's fine, whatever. I mean, it's just you're good deck. You play your cards. I only just draw, untap land, and win. Can I draw and untap land and win? No. Do, do, do. The Exile Informer, yeah, that's, that's how I died in the previous game. They 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 mailed me with another City Informer. Trash. 
Rock. Ok. E Land. Erca boia. Mm -hmm. It's not, not fun at all. I guess... Oh, they are milling all my land. Ah, I draw those land. Akulali, Palaka Foundation. Okay. And it's a top land, but uh, better than nothing. Okay. So I take six down to eight. Then I play Pentad Prison down to two. And then I hopefully win. Oh, yes, well, the ears. All right. Good morning, Pino. Do a match. Let's go. Very fast lead. Yeah. Yeah. Fast and lose. All right. What do I have? Well, I have a uh, Mongan. Points Giganta. I'm either playing as Lurus or Giganta today. Okay, this hand. Oh, we're missing land. No, this hand would have been fine. Yeah, I'll probably have to go down to five. Okay, this is a keep. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> Trader Tron or Grace's Shadow this morning. Ooh, there it is. Alright, this is a turn three win. With the Ballow Stud Spy. Pulling is drawn on turn three. And I die to either Karns or Relic of Progenitus. Cybrid in the void is nears. Let's take out Chill. Sorry, Vengevine. Vengevine. Jack. And, uh, oh no, actually, uh, we said Charbelcher wasn't good. Alright, let's go like this. Do do do. Tron, 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 Tron. You're not convinced by this deck? Well, it's a very, very high variance deck. You should just play one league and be like, oh, cool, or oh, it sucks. But if you win, it's great. All right, this is handy with two lands, a Penta Prism. Yeah, this is great. All right, we have a turn three kill. Hopefully, they don't have a relic. I mean, against Tron, you're supposed to win the die roll or win on turn three. Uh, in the previous match, we would have done it. If we if we draw land at the right time, if you don't, yeah, I mean, it's fine. You lose. Okay. 
Okay. Prison. Panther prison. Okay. Yes. Balustra the spy. Do they have any interaction with us? Hope not. Yes. Sort of the meek comes in. We return the Savage Tide into our hand. We sacrifice three artifacts. We return three Vangemines. And we attack for lethal. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Vangemine goes bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> They misphased it though, because they can't block now, I think. <laughs> they put it in block phase, you can't block in block phase. They're supposed to put it in an attack phase and block. Woo! I, I cyphered it out of Benjamin and it basically cost me the game because they drew a scripting chill. I mean, I would have still gone Memory's Journey and Upkeep not to die, but I would have played like anything and I just die on the spot. Oh! And then no cards in the deck. All right, we got it though. <laughs> Magical Land is such a complex, it's a co such a complex client. I still think that taking out one is fine. Because at the end of the day, you just have four gripping. Oh, I guess if you draw, <sighs> even against draw, you have to keep the Vengevine in. But against Shadow, definitely not. You don't need four. I don't know. All right, I'll bring another Vengevine. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Three Vengevine won won the won the game. I'll uh, I'll go at it again. Okay. Uh, I think I keep. I don't have the combo itself. Whatever voids near to do with a relic of progenitus. I think it's good enough. Fine for memory's journey, yeah. Yeah, there it is. That's a relic. And like I don't know. I wanna say it's pretty impossible. to win anyway, so I might as well just, I think keep a hand that's only missing one piece. So now I can win on five mana, bouncing the relic and then going off, but of course if they play any card I'm dead. Maybe they don't have Tron, I don't know. Chill. No, because Vengevine you can discard it to Phantasmagoria and even if you draw it, whereas Chill you need to have them in the deck. 
All right, they got Karn, but they don't have. They got Karn, but they don't have another land, which is cool to me, I guess. I need to draw a combo piece here, by the way. I don't have um. I don't have a combo piece. So I need to draw a combo piece, and then I win if I draw a combo piece. Alright. I go star, which they just drew. Oh no, I guess they need to leave mana up for relic. Wow, if they break on land, they don't have mana up for relic. Oh, I guess that's searings. Alright, hopefully they don't find power plant. Please don't find power plant. Please break again. Oh, they didn't. Oh, <gasps> they left the door open. Wow, that's insane. All right, let's let's top deck the thing. Come on. Boom. Now, informer. Yes. Bravo, Mango Cazzo, ma te sì che sei bravo. Te sì che sei bravo. Very skilled at this game, chat. Do I have to bounce this thing? I don't think I have to bounce this thing. Right? I don't have to bounce. Let me just understand it again. You mill the whole deck. They just exalt a card. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be bothered by that. Do, do, do. Yes. 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 Go in the hunter wins the match. Okay. We played against uh, Grixis Shadow Tron, Grixis Shadow Tron, so let's tune out for round number five, we're gonna play against Grixis Shadow. There is a reason not to bounce. Yeah, I guess I don't need it. All right, I'll take a bathroom break and be back in a minute for the finals. For the final match, let's say. <laughs> Okay, unless informer or under a uh, bolster spy, yeah, bolster spy. But I like to call for the informer. 
because this is uncommon. This is a common. I like to call for the uncommon one. Brew recommendation. I don't exactly know what you mean. I usually just uh, go live, play a deck that I like. And that's it. Mm -mm -mm. Do you think this deck could want Wish Cloth Talisman? <laughs> Interesting. Probably that if they sideboard in a card like, I don't know, Surgical Extraction or Counter Spell. They just tutor it in their turn. Not sure. Wish Cloth Talisman in general is pretty big, big trap. I don't, I don't like that card. Okay, let's go. Mm, yeah, Zen's very good. I have two Benjamin, but remember, I can discard him to the Phantasmagorian. Is someone ordering? Okay, they play 80 cards. Mm, rhyme hard at the moment. Uh, I don't. I don't do that. Sorry. But maybe I don't know a subscriber that's here every day. I'll uh, I'll help him out. I'll help them out. Okay, abundant growth. Play. No. Go. Uh, well, assuming they don't have interaction and they just go Vran and six or turn land, like, oh wow, spreading seas. But it doesn't do much, but okay. Teferi may be annoying because that slows me down. Of course, force of negation, very annoying. And honestly, this is why when I play the Isa deck, I counter those things when I play against this deck. Because the, the mana is so important. Yeah, Penta Prison. Winning games. Let's go Balos for Spy. And the cool thing is that you don't even play a Play, uh, you even play around the uh, first of negation with the spy. <laughs> okay. So play against endurance most likely. I think this is a matchup where I want Thoughtseize. I don't think I want Pact on negation because they play to fairy. Hmm. Mm, so I have Thoughtseize against endurance. You also want Belcher, probably also want Belcher. Hey, what do I take out? Um, maybe I take out the usual uh, combo kill cards. Sorry, combo kill cards. The usual uh, pieces that are pretty disposable, I think. I'm not sure about the Phantasmagorian because it's like it's very scary if I draw a Vangeline, especially. Yeah, I don't think I can take this out. This is like good either when you draw the Sword of the Meek or when you draw the Vangevine. I don't want to take out lands because I have to ramp up mana with this in this matchup, I think. Oh, I can take out one. The line stops endurance. It does. It does. But it. I think that I want ley line mostly against. Uh, I want ley line mostly against uh, uh, Thoughtseize decks. Not against endurance. Just because the game goes longer here.
Spreading seeds might be annoying on turn two. So I think I'm gonna bait with, um, oh no, there it is. I found another black land. Uh, I think I'm still doing this because I found a black land now, so I don't mind the spreading seeds. Although I could have used Palaka Predation as a discard spell. Mm, I didn't consider that. That was, that was a mistake. Should have should have thought about it. Palaka Predation could discard Endurance. Oof, ooh, Relic of Progenitus. That's bad news. That's very bad news. That's bad news. If they endurance, you can cast it again though. Yep. That was my that was my goal. No, Ryan's is killing my narc Meba. I think I lost. I think I lost. I have no ways to deal with that. I mean I could R cast my things. Maybe I could naturally draw Tassa's Oracle and mill my deck and cast Tassa's Oracle. That sounds very hard to achieve though. We're gonna go beat down here. Probably not gonna work. I sent Quattel, okay. It's not that, it's not that touchy. doesn't have any touch of death at the moment oh wow solitude no my understated informer <laughs> gonna go sort of the meek And keep the Narc Amoeba. And attack Ren. Coatto. Yeah, that's him. Ice Fang Coatto. Alright, does my Narc Amoeba go through? Yes. Look at that. Boom. Narc Amoeba beat down. Omnath. All right, now the race uh, doesn't look like doesn't look very friendly anymore. Should probably just give up now. I guess I do have the Belcher. I do have the Belcher in my deck. Bonjour, Lucien, my librarian. How's it going? Okay. Narcomiba has taken down a nice fan coatto. Or maybe the, the, rather the opposite. Nice fan coatto has taken down an Narcomiba. Uh, I'm gonna play Bolus for its spy. Targeting my opponent. First day at work after two week and a half. Yeah, I know lots of people are going back to work. Mm. 
I guess this is more castable than this. This doesn't really seem very castable. I'm not giving up because I do have the, the Golden Char Belcher. Of course it's not resolving, but well this is the last game, might as well go a little bit longer. Sorry, it's not the last game, it's the last match. Ice. Wouldn't be people leave up. I give myself one draw step and then I concede. I draw Goblin Char Belcher, maybe. All right. Eh. I guess I'm going to give myself another draw step, right? No, I have seven mana. Now I have seven mana, so I'm gonna give myself another draw step. I probably have like what, Force of Negation. Four mana elix, yeah. And how funny is to see a spreading seas on a sea get reborn. I kind of wish they could show me a counter spell and, and I would concede. But I mean, I don't have to. We can take a look at some of the decks that did well this weekend on MTGO while we wait. Waiting for me to respond. Well, no, we aren't. It's funny how the actually MTGO X, I don't know why, doesn't show you the thing. <laughs> this guy, Bamzing, he has the, 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 whatever. These are the top eight decks. First place is the Ice Fan Coato deck. Okay, wow, three Aldamaris call. Two Force of Negation main. Mm-hmm. We'll play 80 cards because you have more spots for these. Second place is uh, the Boris Boris Prowess. Oh, I think I know the eat. I'm not sure I remember I know the heat being in the deck. Alright, Belcher. Okay. I can now concede the game. You lost to Max in round one. Can you post the link? You follow Bamzing, uh, I guess. Yeah, but you follow Bamzing, you you, you you get the link. But I guess I can post it here. In again, they played the Fury, so I don't think I want Pact of Negation. They also played the Relic, so maybe I want Void Snare. 
No, I think I'll only keep the, the Thoughtseize and... And like, I don't know how many relics they play, but... This is a one lander, but if I draw land, it's a very good land. It's a very good hand, isn't it? Although I'm on the play, being on the play is scary. But if I still keep this end, I'm only needing like a land. And even if I draw it on turn two or three, or nah, let's go to five. This deck doesn't mind on that badly. All right, I'll bottom for sure, Narc Amoeba. And uh, what else do I bottom? Uh, maybe a Penta Prism? Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have a second color yet. All right, let's go. Putting the bounce in. This is that four Belcher, so if they go Relic, I can still win with Belcher. I'm drawing the bounce spell is really bad, I think. Play. Yes. More too late with the rate of 48 people. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. All right, I have to choose whether I want to put into play Talisman or Penta Prism. I think I'm going to go with Talisman here. Mm, sure, but probably complains. Hello, Mort. Playing the last game of this league with uh, Oops All Spells. Oh, Thoughtseize. Huh. That's cool. I'm going to go Penta Prism first. to beta counter and then thought sees they probably go to Vince Beto how's it going how where you playing these days more counter spell okay Next turn I have six mana. For Kaya's Guile Mayo. Isn't that nice? Kaya's Guile is a cool card. So if I draw land, I kill him with the Belcher. If I draw a combo piece, I kill him with a combo piece. But the problem is that this deck has a lot of bricks. But this is a nice mulligan to five. I even had a thought season to take out a counter spell. Teferino? Well, if they go Teferino, it's great too. Anything they bounce, I just stick the Belcher into play. If they go Tiferino plus, that's okay. Oh wow. Turn a witness. Heading back counter spell. Okay. Hopefully, no force of negation. Actually, you know what? Hopefully, just the guy to mill my deck, please. Under CT Informer. Under CT Informer, please. Oh, Force of Vigor. Cool. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Actually, it went way better.
How's the day so far? It's good. It's good. Wait, dog chirp. Fail. Counter spell. <laughs> Tronco thick. That's fine. One black mana here. So we could in theory top deck. Um We could in theory top deck the thing. Alright, I got back Yorian. The thing? Ooh, Vengevine. Should I play it? I don't think it matters at all. If I play the Vengevine, they just have a Yorian, so my race is stopped. I mean, if they go Yorian now, they can get back Force of Vigor, but they also need um, a green card. probably have it the green card I mean because they just tapped out <laughs> see what I get back if they get back counter spell maybe there is a chance if they don't get back counter spell okay another force of bigger sure Okay, the league is over and uh, we have